Alex Pereira has said that he wants to go into boxing at some point. Obviously, he can't make it a career as he is now 37 years of age. He said as much in the tweet in which he responded to Anthony Joshua saying that he thought Pereira should box. And I think that's a sentiment that's shared amongst the combat sports world. I want to see Alex Pereira get in there and box maybe a top 10 guy at heavyweight cruiserweight, which he could also compete at. Doesn't really have the names, but seeing him do kind of what Ninganu did and go down that path, I think would be really, really awesome. But I did want to talk about the practicality of something like that because again, he is an older guy, right? He has aspirations in the UFC. And by the way, he has been crushing it. You don't need me to say that, right? He's now a two division champion, probably going for three in his move up to heavyweight. Who knows when that's going to happen? So does this move make sense? Not only for Pereira, but for the boxers that he'd be going up against. Let's talk about it. I think out of a lot of the biggest stars in MMA, Alex Pereira obviously has the most, let's just say, logical argument for getting into boxing. He's had such a long tenure in kickboxing. He was the first double champion in glory history. So that's two different promotions in which he's a two-time world champion. Glory is a kickboxing organization. For those of you that don't know, they put on very good fights. But Alex Pereira is a product of that, and he was there before briefly going into MMA and then obviously curtailing that into a beautiful UFC career. So he has the background. Obviously, Pereira now, if he does go into the boxing ring, is going to be limited to his use of just his fist. But as we've seen, he has that just, it seems like a cheat code of a weapon in that left hook that he likes to level guys with. He is such a technical, competent striker. And I can't say good enough things about the way he sets up shots, how patient he is early in fights, his footwork, how he doesn't really telegraph anything. That's another part of Pereira's game that I never really see get talked about all that much because people talk about his power, his highlights. Hell, he's got so many of them in the UFC so far, but he has a skill set that lends itself nicely to boxing. And you might again say, oh yeah, well, he's been in kickboxing. That makes sense. But there are different aspects to footwork, obviously, when you aren't just limited to your two fists. It's also a completely different game in MMA striking, right? Because you have to worry about grappling. So your hands naturally have to be a little bit lower. And you kind of see in the way that Pereira strikes, he's very, you know, kind of tall and and stands up high in his stride and you know he kind of keeps his hands a little bit lower boxing you can't really do that everything's got to be here but if there's a man for the job point is I believe it will be Alex Pereira he can go up to heavyweight easily I mean I think he makes heavyweight exceedingly easy right he doesn't even have to cut weight he's mentioned that he feels a lot more comfortable at light heavyweight because he doesn't need to cut think about heavyweight where he can even pack on a couple extra pounds I think his fan favorability right now is through the roof absolutely one of the biggest names in the UFC right now, if not the biggest name in the UFC right now. And anyone that says otherwise is quite honestly delusional. So I don't think fans would view it the same way that they did Ninganu, right? Ninganu had his fans that were pulling for him, but he also had a crazy amount of detractors and they thought he was crazy for going over to boxing. If Pereira goes over to boxing right now, he's going to have the entire world behind him because that's just the type of entertainer and fighter that he is. He has a lot of people behind him. So he's not going to get that same pushback. And I think his star quality obviously would net him. You have to think a big name in boxing. That's another great question that we have to ask is, who does he go up against in boxing? There's guys in the top 10 at heavyweight. Maybe Tyson Fury wants to step in there, box another MMA guy. I know Anthony Joshua was the one that floated the idea, so perhaps that was him trying to set something up. Usyk is off, and I think he's kind of just concerning himself with matters that have to kind of deal with more so traditionalized boxing. I, I don't really see Usyk biting on that offer from Pereira, though I could be wrong. It really depends on who wants a big payday. It is a very risky fight, though, for a lot of these guys in boxing. It is kind of the same thing with Ngannou. Tyson Fury didn't take him seriously, and you saw what happened. I mean, he already said that he doesn't want to make a career out of it, so it could just be kind of more of a one-off thing. The vibe that he gave when he mentioned it to Joshua was kind of more so that he just wants a nice big fight in boxing boxing and I can't blame him. But again, I think that presents a lot of issues in itself because for a lot of these top boxing guys, are you going to risk getting seriously injured for a one-off fight and for a big payday, right? The money's right, I'm sure. And the, the allure of, now that I'm thinking about it through, if I was, you know, a, a top 10 heavyweight elite boxer, the allure might be there of taking out another titan of sport. There is still a lot of risk involved for a guy that, you know, if he beats someone, is he realistically going to be entering the rankings? Probably not. I just hope we get to see him in there. I know he's getting older. I know he's he has, again, those big aspirations in the UFC. And I honestly want to see him climb that mountain first and become the first triple champ in UFC history. I absolutely believe he can be the man to do it. Pereira just has momentum with him. He has these intangibles mixed in with really, really good footwork and fundamentals. I, I just want to see this man achieve greatness. But what would be even better would be to see him achieve greatness in three major combat sports. So who do you guys think he would face off against? Who do you
you think makes sense, do let me know down in the comment section below. For this video, it's been your boy, the combat consultant, the soundboard god, Jacob Cooperman. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.